everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Millie and today I have a huge Kiko haul for you. Everything that I'm putting on my face today is a first impression, a first impression of the products and a first impression of the brand. I've never tried anything from Kiko before. I already have my foundation, concealer and brows on because I didn't pick anything up from those categories but everything else that I am putting on my face today is coming out of this box and going straight onto my face. I'm not doing a full day wear test today but I am doing a first impression and I will leave down in the description box down below what my overall thoughts are at the end of the day but Let's just dive straight on in, shall we? So I do have a selection of brushes and things in front of me, but I might keep turning around to get some more out of my um, tubs from behind me. So if that gets annoying, I'm just gonna apologize in advance. The first product that I'm going in with is bronzer. This packaging is beautiful. I almost feel like I don't even want to use it because it's so pretty. The marbled colors all together and the teeny tiniest little bit of shimmer it looks so beautiful. There's also a really decent sized mirror in this compact, which I love. So I'm going to dip in with a multitask brush from Real Techniques, load some up on my brush. There's a tiny little bit of like fallout. I can see it coming off. That doesn't necessarily bother me. That's not indicative of a bad product or a good product. I don't mind if it does that. And I will just start to put some life back into this face of mine. The shade that I picked up is 01 Warm Melange. This is the um, Baked Bronzer. So the colour seems to be really light and building up quite nicely. You can see how much I've sort of built up. And I'm just sort of using this as sort of a sculpting bronzer, I suppose. Using it as bronzer and contour. Trying to, anyway. <laughs> just want to get a bit more life back into my Casper the Ghost skin. <laughs> so I feel like that's added a really nice soft wash of colour. I really like the like the undertone of it. It's really like subtle but in a really really nice way. It builds up really nicely as well so you can see sort of where I've built it up more under here just to try and create a bit more of that shadow where I definitely don't have a shadow and I've also just taken it a tiny bit down the sides of my nose and the shimmer in it is just really soft like you can see on my forehead a little bit where it's just reflecting a little bit just to make the skin look a bit more healthy which we love <laughs> so next up is the most incredible blusher packaging I've ever seen and even the actual blush has an imprint in it and I definitely don't want to ruin this so I'm going to take it from the other side where there isn't the imprint. Again, a really, really big mirror in this one as well, which we love. There's definitely less kickback with this one and there doesn't seem to be any shimmer in it, which I'm not mad about. This is the shade 03 Fairy Pink. If that's not me in a blush name, then I don't know what is. <laughs> and I love these like hot pink shades. I think that especially at this time of year, they do just, I mean, ignore it at the minute, please. But <laughs> they do just look like a really fresh in from the cold sort of blush. And I love that. <laughs> so we're going for a very blushy look today. I didn't mean to apply that much. It's really pigmented. <laughs> There we go, that's knocked it back a little bit, hasn't it? <laughs> that looks much better. So it's a really beautiful pink shade, as a blush should be, obviously, but it's a really beautiful shade. Fairy pink. Do I look like a fairy yet? <laughs> so the next thing is the one that I am possibly the most excited about, the highlighter. I love these sorts of highlighter, these like cushion, applicator liquid highlighters. I find that they are the most seamless into your skin whilst also being completely blinding. Generally speaking, obviously I haven't tried this one yet, but generally speaking they are so smooth on the skin and that is the kind of look that I love. I love a really bright metallic stripe on my face basically but I don't want it to look glittery and it's a very fine line between the two so you have to twist top to the on position and then squeeze there we go 
so that's the shade i'll start at this side and i will keep my sponge at the ready i obviously haven't powdered my face let's oh i'm gonna go onto the back of my hand i got the fear i'm going back onto the back of my hand Ooh, that looks like milky oh my goodness and so reflective ah. yeah that's pretty i'm going to just take a little bit on directly onto my sponge and try and build it up a little bit in that like c shape around my eyebrow yeah that's done exactly what i hoped it would in that it doesn't look chunky it just looks really seamless into the skin and that shade is really pretty it's almost got like a really a really unique like gold undertone I feel like that helped to dial down the um <laughs> the blusher as well i might need a bit more blusher now but we'll we'll see how it looks at the end so then next up is eyeshadow and this is the palette that i chose there were a few different ones on the website and i couldn't decide between a load of them so i said to phil should i get the purple or should i get the green and i went for the purple in the end i really like purple on blue eyes obviously i have blue eyes so i was hoping that that would be a good choice and i do have a lot of green eyeshadows so i didn't need any more did i want more absolutely but i went for the purple one in the end so i think what i'm going to do is go in with a fluffy brush and I'll go in with the top left shade that nude skin toned color and I'm going to use the mirror in the palette which I don't normally do but I will today I'm just going to pack that all over the lid I need a different brush than that <laughs> now I do have to leave the house later on today so I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy I definitely want to take advantage of that purple on the bottom row so I feel like, considering that is the one of the darkest shades in the palette, it's not building up to be very dark. Like, I've been building this up for quite some time, and it's just sort of blending out to nothing. So that's a little bit disappointing. I have a hair on my face somewhere. I do have a liquid eyeliner to try, and I do want to try that today. So I think I'm just going to go in with the dark purple on the bottom row see if that'll build up a little bit more so again i feel like i'm packing this purple on and it's looking really nice and quite bright and then as soon as i go in with a fluffy brush to blend it and blend the edges it's like where did it go so now i don't know what to do because i wanted to use this glittery on the bottom row because that does look like a shade that i would enjoy but i feel like i can't just put it on a nearly completely bare lid i need to just stop fiddling with that now i feel like that's as much of that purple as i'm going to get on basically so now i'm just going to take a flatter brush and try and pack on some of that of the most intense glitter on the bottom row oh which looks beautiful on the brush please don't let me down <laughs> I'll zoom you in for this so that is what the glitter is looking like on the brush it does look quite intense hopefully it does the same on my eyeballs I am a fan of a glitter so that is what I was hoping for can you see how intense that is that's beautiful it is very very crumbly in the pan though but I don't mind that if it works well which this seems to be. <laughs> so I don't think there actually seems to be any fallout from that glitter shade as well, which is incredible. I'm going to just put a little bit more on the inner corner with the shade above it that's like a light pink. The shimmers have saved this palette, that's for sure. Next is a liquid eyeliner and I am so snobby about it, liquid eyeliners. I want them to be really black, I want them to be liquidy enough that they're easy to apply but not so that they bleed into the fine lines around my eyes. I want them to last all day but then I want them to come off easily. I have never found an eyeliner basically that's as good as the one that I picked up from Shein oh, about a year ago. I've never been able to find one as good as that. Or was it two years ago? I think it might have been two years ago but I'm hopeful this looks quite similar so i'm hopeful that this will be this is the 
ultimate long wear eyeliner and I will put that to the test. Let's see how easy it applies. So that's gone over that glitter really, really nicely. Sisters, not twins. Let's keep reminding ourselves of that, shall we? But I'm quite impressed with that, actually. It seems to have more of a sticky texture rather than completely liquid. Like I can feel it pulling just a little bit when I'm going over the same area a few times, but it seems to be nice and black and quite easy to use so we'll see how that lasts sort of throughout the day i am just going to wipe this off the back of my hand because i'm wearing a white t-shirt and that's not going to end well okay so i don't have a mascara from kiko so i'm just going to go in with this one that i think i got in a asos face and body box before christmas this is the uoma drama bomb extreme volume nourishing mascara i think it's just like a sample size one but i'm really enjoying that and i feel like i need quite a dramatic set of lashes today and i don't want to wear falsies so i'm just going to build up this so that is the mascara done i really enjoy this mascara actually i've used this a few times and i've really enjoyed it every single time i've used it so that is the eyes done and i am just noticing that there is a little bit of creasing on that glittery shade so I'm just going to try and pat that out a little bit. It did feel more like a creamy formula. I don't know if you're going to be able to see but it has a sort of, it's a different texture to the others and it's a different texture from anything that I've tried before. It does feel almost like slippy, like it's Vaseline-y but the glitter pigment in it is beautiful so maybe that's why it's creasing i also have glitter on my eye uh, mascara on my eyelid so i'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then i'll scratch it off i have two lipsticks to try firstly this one is the creamy lipstick in the shade 01 it's a beautiful i got like nudie shades because quite a few of them were sold out and I didn't want to risk getting something more bright, not knowing how the eye look would turn out. I was hoping that the eye look would be more purple in this. Let's move on from it. This is a beautiful pinky rosy nude. I did put on a little bit of lip balm before I started filming. So I've got a little bit of that on, but I don't want to take it off because my lips are really dry. So I'm just going to go on over the top with this. This is a like my lips but better shade it is pinky nude but it doesn't seem to be too pink or too nude it's just a really perfect mix of the two and it is really creamy that is really comfortable i feel like that looks quite nice with the look actually i will try the other one just in case now prepare yourself this is the cutest lipstick I have ever seen and I know that this one has a name so I remember thinking yes so this is the mini lipstick which it definitely is in the shade rosy hibiscus and actually that looks a little bit darker I'll just add this onto the outside of the lips that's made a really nice like ombre the colours are going together really nicely actually. It might be a little bit darker than what I was wanting, but they're blending together nicely. Because I don't like a really one-dimensional matte lipstick. I do like something with a little bit of hydration, a little bit of uh, sheen to it, I suppose. So, n sorry, I just hit the microphone there. That'll be really annoying. So that is everything on. I do feel like I want a little bit more blush now after the drama that we had <laughs> earlier with it. So I'll just go on top of there lightly with a bit more blush. <laughs> yes, I like that with a little bit more blush. I think that that just finishes it off nicely. And again, this isn't a completely matte blush. I know I've got the highlighter on as well, so you can't tell, but it has a nice softness to it and i really love that shade 
Not that I needed any more blushes, but here we are. <laughs> and that is me done for the day. That is everything. So first impressions are the blusher and the bronzer are both beautiful. They blend out really, really nicely. The highlighter wand is really nice, but I wouldn't apply it straight onto the face. I felt like it made it look a little bit chunky. I would dab it onto a sponge and then dab it onto your face. That is not generally how I use an applicator like that, but I feel like that's the best way to use that one. The formula seems a little bit thinner than others that I've had, so it needs to be blended out with a sponge straight away. The eyeshadow, I didn't love. I'm going to keep playing with it. I'm going to keep seeing if there's a better way to use it. Like I said, I didn't use any sort of eyeshadow base today, so maybe that's just what I needed. I needed some sort of base, which I didn't use. Maybe that was my problem. The eyeliner seems fine i will let you know how it goes on throughout the day like i said i need it to last all day and i need it to come off easily at the end of the day i don't want to be scrubbing at my eyes so that will come out in time whether i like that or not and both of the lipsticks despite the fact that this one is the tiniest lipstick i've ever seen it's really cute but i mean it was only like i think this was like one pound 75 or something like that like i knew that it was going to be small i didn't know it was going to be this small <laughs> but it's cute it's the sort of thing that you could throw in your handbag really easily but i prefer this one i prefer the creamy lipstick in the shades zero one that just went on really really nicely and i preferred the color of this one as well just for me and was that everything? Was that everything that we tried today? I think it was. So, like I said, I will leave my lasting thoughts in the description box down below. If you have tried any of these products, then let me know. Let me know if there's a better way to use that eyeshadow palette, because that's the only thing that I'm a bit unsure on. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye!